This is your layout. Everything inside the scene can be found here. We start with a cube, a camera and a light. Using the T key, we can make this menu appear. Using the N key, we can make this menu appear. You can move an object like so. Use Shift to move sidewards. Use Control to zoom in and out. You can rotate and scale the block. In order to make a block for Minecraft, we need to make sure it's the right size. The cube must be exactly the size of this grid. The cube must also be placed on the size of the grid the camera is on. If we textured this, we would have a normal Minecraft sized block. Let's move this aside. In order to create a single pixel, the size must be 1 divided by 16. Let's adjust the grid settings. Set the grid to 1 divided by 32. We do this because the origin of the cube is in the middle and not in the corner. This will be helpful when snapping it to the grid later on. Now every square on the grid represents half a pixel. Let's add a floor so that we can see how big our playing field is. Always make sure to put your block on a whole pixel, and not on half a pixel as our grid shows half a pixel. Place the blocks somewhat right. We'll snap them to the grid to give them the perfect position. Let's select them both using the Shift key and duplicate them. Always remember to snap the blocks to the grid. Let's move this to the middle. Let's make a tree stump by duplicating this a couple of times and snapping it to the grid. Now we have our object complete. Let's join all the separate boxes into one. Select all cubes. Press object and then join to join them together. If join is grayed out for you like here, try selecting them in the scene collection with shift. Selecting a few of them and or unselecting them in the blue selection type will enable the join option and solve this bug. As our model shape is nearly done, it's time to remove all the boxes inside. Go to edit mode. You can select vertices, lines and faces. Select face selection mode. Select all visible faces of your model using shift. Invert the selection. Use X to delete all selected faces. Now our model is hollow. Let's start texturing our model. Press shading. Make sure you are in rendered mode or else you won't see the texture. Create a new material. Select an image from your PC and drag it inside. Connect color to base color. Interpolation will make it blurry by default. Instead of linear, select closest for interpolation. Now everything will look like the original image. Open the UV editor. Select a part of your model. 
Every block is now displayed in the UV editor. Press UV and select one of the options for mapping. In Minecraft's case, cube projection will be an excellent option for reasons only a well-practiced intellectual would understand. The T and N buttons also work in the UV editor. Just like other utilities, like moving, scaling and rotating, make sure you enable rendered mode to be able to see the texture. When scaling things up or down, do realize you can also type in the number while in scaling mode. For perfect scaling we need to look at how big our original image is and how many cubes are being displayed. This is a 32 pixel image. Our stump was 14 pixels high. 1 divided by 32 multiplied by 1 divided by 14 will give us the perfect result for scaling. Let's do this for every face. For the top, our blocks are 6 by 6 in a 32 by 32 image. Thus we scale by 1 divided by 32 multiplied by 1 divided by 6 to get the perfect scaling result. Let's go back to layout and turn on rendered mode. We can now export our model as OBJ file. Make sure to enable triangulate faces in the operator presets in the bottom left.